Hello Loft Dwellers. In this episode I'm going to outline the steps required to get rock rail working with a Dynamis Altima. So I'll take this away and I'll just uh, zoom in a bit closer. I've got two trains on the layout. One is the uh, Brighton Bell, so I've moved that up. And here that's running, and the other is the uh, Two Hell, so let's move that up. So now if I go to the layout room, you can see both running. So now I'm going to go back to the computer and stop them. Okay, so that's proof positive it works. So we'll go back to the computer. There's uh, Wilkie who's helping us as usual. Now the first thing we need to do is to enter this uh, URL here www.ftdichip.com slash drivers slash vcp html that will take us to this uh, page uh, with this red bar here. So if you know you've got the right page, click at this red bar. And you scroll down and um, here are the drivers appropriate to Windows. Uh, I'll enlarge that. Um, yeah, you can see here um, Windows. Uh, that version, uh, you can see here we've got version for x86 which is Windows 32-bit and the version for Windows 64-bit. Uh, so you click on the appropriate download link, you download the file um, that you want. Also down here there's, there is um, for Mac OS um, uh, and so on and for uh, Raspberry Pi. The next thing you need to do is to go to the globe and then you need to go uh, to control panel. Um, then you need to go to hardware and sound. And then you need to go to uh, hardware and devices. Um, let me move this back a bit. Um, now if we look here um, it says um, ports common LPT and if we um, click on that it will say uh, USB serial port COM4. If it doesn't say that, it means you, you have got to install the driver. So if it says something other than that, it's wrong. So um, what you've got to do is, is right click on it and then go to where it says um, update driver software. And then it says browse my computer for driver software and then you need to search uh, for the folder you d downloaded and then you click next 
uh, it says in my case Windows has determined the software is up to date um, because I've already done this job and so that's okay. What to do is type Rock Rail Launch Pad into a Google search box. Then you'll see this link Rock Rail Project Files, Rock Rail Launch Pad, Pad Net. Click this link uh, and it says um, download project files here. So uh, you go down to the one you want. Um, Um, this, this is version 2. Right, you, you've installed Rockwell, so now we start it. And it this appears up on the screen, it says Rockwell. Now you need to um, go up to this, uh, where it says, uh, close that. Um, up to where it says, uh, where it says file and then go down to where it says demo workspace demo workspace this appears um, on the screen this uh, this uh, plan appears on the screen um, uh, now what we need to do is uh, go to where it says control and uh, you go to um, no you don't having downloaded and installed Rockrail we can um, start it up uh, now you need to d to um, do this uh, uh, Nag screen appears asking you for a donation, but you don't have to make a donation straight away. Uh, you have to go up to um, File and then go down to where it says Demo Workspace, which will load in uh, this thing here, which is doesn't you don't, that actually doesn't do anything because obviously it's only a demonstration layout which isn't working. Um, Now, you have to go to File, and then you have to find um, Rock Rail Properties, which is here. And move this down. Um, now enlarge this. Uh, it says here Controller, so you click on that, and. Uh, you have to change it so it says ESU Navi. Okay, now to do that, you have to go down to um, uh, yeah. now. You see, if you look here, um, it says virtual, so you have to change this to where it says um, ESU Navigator, ESU Navi, C D E E E, it says ESU Navi, uh, so if I enlarge that you can see that it uh, says ESU Navi, um, that's all you need to do really to make it uh, work with um, Now, uh, what we're going to do now is create a uh, entry in the roster. So we go to Control, and then you put go to where it says Guest Loco. Then you enter the DCC address there. Let's put number three in. Doesn't really matter what it is. Click on DCC. 
Um, now, um, a feature of this rock rail program is that if you create an entry in the list of locomotives on rock rail, those uh, list of locomotives will be transmitted to the Dynamo's handset. Um, so that the uh, it will say 969 Brighton Bell on the Brighton on the uh, handset. Um, you can see that there is this entry uh, for location 1969 for the 1969 Brighton Bell, but I haven't actually had to type this in using the uh, Dynamis handset uh, because I can just type it into the computer.